Welcome to this Windows and Computers channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, June 13th, 2018, and today in our Tech News Update, we have Microsoft and Tails that are teaming up to offer Defense Cloud Solution for the Armed Forces. It seems that it will be using the Microsoft Azure Stack services and will be working within the next year. So, um, you know, the companies do work with uh, different uh, services from the army and um, well you know there's not that much we can do about it as it's part of their business if you're a steam game player and you're still using Windows XP or Vista you'll have to upgrade as steam has said that it will, will actually stop working on these two platforms early next year company says that now there's a very small number of people using XP or Vista and that you need to move on as a majority of people are one of those on Windows 7 or actually uh, more modern. Well, of course, many users are mad at Sony, and this is not the first time that this uh, kind of thing happens, as Sony has decided to block Fortnite cross-platform gaming between its um, PlayStation 4 console and the users of the Nintendo Switch. So, of course, the company is under fire a lot for this type of, uh, you know, wrongdoings. It, it wants to kind of keep its market, but unfortunately, it's a little sad because, you know, for the same games, I think that cross-platform, including, you know, with Xbox, is kind of a cool thing. Patch Tuesday was upon us yesterday. Fixes many security updates, 50 in total if you actually add, uh, you know, Windows Server and, and Office. Um, there was a few, um, you know, critical flaws, so it's very important to fix and update your systems. Now, one of the interesting ones that we didn't know about until yesterday is that they fixed a Cortana bug that enabled anyone to actually run a PowerShell command while on the lock screen. So uh, they could basically do what they want. Office 2019 will be getting a, a ribbon or a, a UI overhaul. They will, of course, be changing that. It's always a little problem when that happens because, you know, when you get these power users of Office they always get a little mad at the fact that they change things. So the ribbon is apparently a little too crowded. What they'll do is tab ribbons, which will actually space out a little more what you have on the ribbons and hopefully uh, make things a little easier to manage. Well, Intel might be getting quite serious at actually getting into the graphics card market. Intel has been doing graphics adapters for years, but mo mostly, you know, things that are actually uh, integrated on a motherboard so that you know your computer can still run but they were you know of questionable power performance if you want although the latest some of the latest were not too bad well in 2020 it will apparently actually do graphics cards that will apparently be directly you know direct competition with AMD and Nvidia so this is going to be interesting to see what they come up with Google Translate now rolling out an AI-based translation that you can download. Of course, there was some form of download that you could do, but you couldn't really do real-world translations um, with Google Translate offline. Well, now this uh, will actually enable your device to do them. Uh, 59 languages will have their own package that you can download, 34 megabytes approximately per language. Starts rolling out today and uh, apparently should be available to everyone within the next week or so. AT&T and Verizon are actually um, saying that they won't actually uh, and have no plan to do uh, different internet speeds for different services and products. That it's really not in their plans uh, as of course net neutrality is now gone. Uh, we'll see what happens with that and if they do actually but they you know they already do some kind of some throttling if you want uh, and, and that is known and talking of throttling well um, net neutrality experts are saying that one of the best ways to actually have net neutrality kind of be kept because of competition is basically they're saying Netflix and Google need to invest money and become internet service providers themselves this would increase competition across the United States, which means it would, of course, um, mean that net neutrality would be probably enforced naturally through the competition. K 
Can someone just sue Google if the information and the search results about himself are maybe not true or false? An Australian man will find out after Google um, he Googled his name and saw it associated with bad information, apparently the mob and drug traffickers and stuff like that. Um, and it all comes from the fact that he actually had been shot a few years back, which means maybe the information about him is wrong and someone, some bad guys think he's somebody, somebody else. So it's kind of interesting. Um, well, you know, can you sue Google for that and say, well, you know, what's wrong about me shouldn't be there. And finally, YouTube in the UK is actually a little bit in hot water. Uh, UK Ads Regulation Authority has received complaints about YouTube ads as uh, parents have been complaining about Aru movie ads that show up before children content. They say it's totally unacceptable that the gory images are shown to kids, which can easily be traumatized. So, uh, you know, this I think will be a recurring team, YouTube ads. And this was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, June 13, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.